Well, that was a tough game to play and coach and, and probably watch. There was, um, they did a great job of controlling tempo um, on both ends of the floor defensively. They, they made us take tough shots offensively. I thought they moved the ball and, and really wore us down more so with their offense than their defense. They uh, set a lot of ball screens and, and really took advantage of our, uh, I'd say, our young guys at different occasions or um, you know, just really moved the ball and made good plays. Tough game for our team, our style, but um, one that I thought if we would have played a little smarter and a little tougher, we may have, might have been able to come out with a win, but unfortunately that's not the case. And that's a team that for some reason has found a way to win a ton of close games this year. Um, and they're, they're figuring out a way to win with, uh, with a pretty good team. How do you defend a team that they're, they're so patient and poised on offense? And you know, what, do you, what do you do about that? Well, I was hoping that we could score uh, and make them have to play a little faster. When the tempo was picked up a little bit in the first half, we were fortunate enough to cut it to one and a half. Um, it's tough. You have to be tough and get over screens and be physical and make them take tough shots. Um, and at times, uh, we, we made some mistakes that they made us pay dearly um, by not going over a few ball screens in a stretch there where you know, they went from 6 to 11 pretty quickly. And it was, it was some things that we didn't execute defensively. And they do a good job. On, I mean, obviously, Coach Majerus' teams have always played great defense. And they, they chest up and they play physical. And you have to make a physical tough play um, to, get, to get a basket. It seemed like Reed's tip-in at the end of the shot clock there was kind of a uh, big momentum swing play, you guys. With one second on the clock? Yeah. That one, yeah, that was, uh, that was a good design play by them where he, they just threw it I mean, about as high as you can. And he did a nice job of getting in. And we had played great defense. Um, up until that point, so that was definitely a momentum uh, changer. There, just before that, it was 44-41, and that's when uh, Terrell had the play in which, did they rule that he caught his own shot? Is, is that what the violation was? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not certain. I don't really know what they called. Because <laughs> they went on a 14-5 run, the read tip was first. Yeah, I, I, yeah. But you're not sure what they called? No, I don't, I, I, I don't know. How, how tough is it when you when you've got you only two you only have two guys that can that did run much of any scoring? At all? Yeah, that's very difficult. I mean, we're looking for a third and fourth option, obviously every game, and a fifth option will be nice. Um, you know, Ricky's been the one guy that we can really rely on, and Anthony's done it in spurts, and, and Vincent's done it in, in spurts, and really Freddie's done it on occasion. Um, but when you're relying on all those freshmen to be that second and third guy, it's hard. So. Um, Anthony probably needs to be the guy to, to be a little bit more consistent and continue to do that. Did you think there was a point in time when, uh, because of St. Louis's youth, when you closed in that double digit sleep, you could eventually take over? I was, I was hoping so. Um, you know, even though a couple of those guys are freshmen, they, they've had some pretty good international experience. I think the kid Ellis plays like he's a little bit older and more mature. Um, and when you have a point guard as good as the kid Mitchell, uh, a lot of times that supersedes having having young guys. So I mean and they're well coached. Obviously Coach Majerus does a does a great job and he's been around a long time. Talk a little bit about uh, the toughness back there, not having Javon that is that Yeah, I, I would say that hurts a little bit. Not that um, you know the the win or loss would have changed, but that is a game that uh, he would play well in um, because you know, when they did kind of play the wings tight, um, you have to be able to dribble the ball into the paint and be strong. And then I think defensively he would have helped us some, but is he worth 12 or 13 points? I'm not sure. I mean, I, I kind of put a, a point uh, total on that. Uh -huh. That being said, do you think Carter Sampson uh, filled in? I thought Sampson played pretty well at times. He, um, he still gets tired too fast. <laughs> um, and I think when he's playing too much, the game gets moving, he gets tired a little bit quickly, and then there's some mental mistakes that go into it. But I thought he did well. And, He's going to continue to play more as the season goes on and um, you know, set the table for him for his career here. Um, and I'm looking for him to continue to step up. He played a little tougher, got a couple loose balls and loose rebounds. He needs to play like Javon plays, but be 6'8". <laughs> Is this the way Vincent needs to play in terms of being assertive? Absolutely, 100% unequivocally. And I should have got him the ball even more tonight. Um, you know, he went for 19 and 8. But there was a few plays that you know, it was physical in there, and he missed a couple, I'd say, point blank shots because of the physicality of uh, St. Louis down low. Derek, not that you're writing off this year by any means, but what does what has to happen in the next couple of weeks for this team to feel good going into next year? I, I'm going to probably, you know, sleep on that, spend some time tomorrow. Is it? 
do I need to push them even harder or do I need to back off a little bit and get them some rest and get their minds right? You know, and I always think back to when I was as a player or being around guys when I've been an assistant coach. And this time of year, you want to make sure that they're mentally and physically like still into the season and ready to go. And these guys have been. Um, but I also know that when you're playing a lot of freshmen and first year guys, a lot of minutes and the season's starting to drag on, they hit a wall at some point. And I don't want this team to hit a wall. And I've got to make sure that um, you know we fight through any fatigue and also that they get enough rest, that we're, we're fresh and ready to go. Because as everybody in here and probably anybody reading, watching knows, our margin for error is, is slim. You know, it's a free throw block out away from winning or losing a game, a, a missed three that they make one or, you know, a dive that, you know, there's a lot of things that go into the game and our margin for error is, is, is slim. It's a good week to have a week off? Sir. Yes, a great week. Uh, I would have preferred coming off with a win so we could, you know, feel good about ourselves for a week. But it's also nice to have them on edge a little bit and, um, you know, get them ready for days next week. Their World Coast team executed their offense. Their defense was one of the best defenses we've probably seen all year. Um, well, one of them. Um, they helped each other, straight up man to man. Um, yeah, I would say they're a good team. One of the best teams. Probably. Terrell, it looked like you were uh, looked like you were trying to be assertive offensively to, to, today. Was it? Was, are you start? Were you looking for the? Were you looking for the ball? Were you looking for, for your shot more today? Yeah, uh, I felt that they kind of stand in front of me, so I wanted to go down there and try to shoot a little bit get a foul. Our report was uh, me and Ricky trying to get a uh, Allison Mitchell foul, so he wouldn't be in the game. Is there anything else you want to add? Do you guys feel like you've taken a little bit of a step back after that little surge of momentum you had a, a week or so ago? Um, I would say so. Um, we had two big wins a couple weeks ago. We had a, we could have had a win down at GW. We let get away from us, and I think um, I don't say we got complacent, but um, we kind of let let off off the pedal a little bit. Um, we do, we gotta we gotta start coming out and want games more because we're not as talented as a lot of other teams in this conference. So. There's a lot of stuff that we have to do differently so that we can come on top of games. And I feel like those things are being done right now. Was it frustrating to go from having erased the double digit deficit to then to having them pull right back out ahead by 10, by 10 again? Uh, yeah, it was a couple of stupid plays we made, a couple of threes we gave up. Don't uh, play we got to come up with, so we won the game. Was that tip in by? Reed with one second on the shot clock was that was that kind of a backbreaker given how well you played defense to that point? Yeah, uh, they always a backbreaker plays. So if it's going out way, when then we step on the team, they going to collapse too. So uh, yeah. we shouldn't have gave it up, but I don't know what happened. We don't let the take man. It's too bad. How not having Javon uh, head back you guys today? Uh, um, he's one of our. Tough guys, junkyard dog. Um, not having him today was tough. He's a big part of this team, but um, we have to, we gotta play without him. So um, I'm gonna say he's the reason why we lost.